Can we all listen? Can we all listen? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to tell you one of my favorite stories, all right? Uh, I, I tell this story a lot, so maybe you've heard it, but if you haven't, those of you who haven't, I think it's a beautiful story. This is the story of the golden box, okay? I'm just, just going to ask you to listen, okay? Okay. Children, can you just put that down, please, and we'll just listen. Okay. Have I got your attention? Okay. Okay, there's a little girl. She's eight years old. A any of you eight? Any eight years? That's, okay, there's some eight-year-olds. That's good. That's good. Okay, this is a little girl. She's going shopping with her mum, and they're walking through the mall, and suddenly she says to her mum, Mum, stop! And her mum says, what's wrong? She says, I want you to stand right here and not move. Her mum says, what's wrong? She said, I'm going in that shoe shop and I don't want you to come with me. And her mum says, what are you going to do? She says, I can't tell you, it's a secret. So she says, mum, just stay here. Sorry. And she, her mum says, okay. So she stops and the little girl goes in the shop and she goes into the lady in the shop and she says, I want an empty shoe box. Can you sell me a box. And the lady says, just a box? She says, yes, I want a box. And um, so the lady says, okay, I can get you a box. What size? She says, any size, but just a shoe box. So the lady goes and gets a box, and the little girl says, how much is it? The lady says, no, you can have it free. Oh, brilliant. She says, do you have a bag I can put it in? They says, I can get you a bag. So she gets her bag, puts it in the box in the bag, and then the little girl goes out. And she says, okay, ma'am, we can go now. So they're walking on a little bit further along when suddenly the little girl says, Mom, stop. Again, and the mother stops. She says, what now? She says, I want to go in this shop. And the mom says, why? She says, Mom, I can't tell you. So the little girl goes in the shop, and this time it is a shop that sells paper, wrapping paper. And she goes into the shop and speaks to the lady, and she says, I want to buy some golden paper. It's got to be completely gold. And the lady said, we have some, but it's very expensive. The little girl says, I don't care how much it costs. I've got all my pocket money with me. I want to buy the golden paper. So the lady brings out this paper, and the little girl says, is that the best you have? She says, no, but I do have another one, but that's even more expensive. The little girl says, bring it, bring it. So she brings out the golden beautiful absolutely golden paper and the little girl says I'll buy it and the lady says I haven't told you the price she said I'll buy it and I've got enough money she buys this golden paper and she puts it in her bag and she goes out says mum we can go home now and she keeps the bag hidden behind her back mum says what's going on she says I can't tell you mum so they go home just, just don't pull that wire okay thank you so they go home and the little girl takes the, the bag of her box and the golden paper up to her room. And she's in the room and she's cutting up the paper. She borrows some scissors and glue from her mum. And she's cutting up the paper and she's covering the box inside and outside and all around. She's making a golden box. Okay? While she's busy doing this, her daddy comes home. And her daddy sees his wife, mummy. And then he goes up to her room, and he should have knocked. He doesn't knock. He just walks in the room, and she hears her daddy come in, and she hides the, the box under the bed, and, and she pretends nothing's happening. And she, he says, so what's going on? She says, nothing, daddy. And she says, he finds some paper on the floor, and he says, what's this golden paper? It's very beautiful. She says, yes, daddy, it is lovely, isn't it? He says, where did you get this paper from? She said, nowhere, Daddy, I, I bought it. And he says, this is very expensive paper. You must have spent a lot of money for this. And she says, yes, Daddy, but it was my pocket money. But he says, but we mustn't waste money. We don't have a lot of money. And you're wasting your money to buy such expensive paper. And the little girl says, I know, Daddy, but just, it's okay. And he says, well, don't, don't waste your money again. That's good advice from Daddy. So he leaves, and she finishes making her golden box. Okay. Now, a couple of days later, she and her mummy are going shopping again in the mall, and she suddenly says to her mummy, stop. And mum says, oh, no, here we go again. And then she says, mummy, please stay here. 
I want to go in this paper shop again. And she goes into the lady in the shop and she says, I want to buy the most expensive wrapping paper now that you have. And the lady says, well, we've got some here just for a few, a few cents. She says, no, I, I want really, really nice paper. So the lady says, okay. And she remembers her and she brings down this beautiful wrapping paper. It's birthday wrapping paper. And the little girl looks at it and she feels it and she says, I like that. Okay, I'll buy some of that. So she buys it, puts it in her bag, and she goes out and says, Mom, we can go again. So they go home. That evening, what's she doing? She's cutting up the wrapping paper and she's covering the golden box. When guess who comes home? It's Daddy again. And daddy didn't knock again. He just walked in the room to greet his little girl. And he sees, and she pushes the box into the bed quick whew, again. And her daddy says, what's this paper? What's this paper? He picks it up. It's very expensive, he says. I thought I told you not to waste your money. She says, I know, daddy. I know. He says, well, listen, I'm not going to tell you again. Do not waste your money. Let your mum buy what you need. And don't you go off buying this expensive paper and wasting your money. She says, all right, Daddy. So he goes. Now, a few days later, it's somebody's birthday party. It's her daddy's birthday party. And her mum's made a lovely meal for him. And they bring out the birthday cake. And she says, Daddy, before you cut the cake, I have a gift for you. And she runs upstairs and she brings down the wrapped golden box. And she gives it to him. And he, Daddy sees it and he says, oh, all this expensive paper you bought for my present? She says, yes, Daddy. He says, wow, you must love me a lot. He says, Daddy, I love you more than you will ever know. I love you so much that I got this special present for you. He says, well, can I open it now? Yes, Daddy, it's your birthday. So he unwraps the golden box, the paper, and finds this beautiful golden box. And he says, wow, that gold paper you also bought for me? Yes, Daddy to wrap your box in. And he says, can I open the box? She says, yes, you can. So he lifts the lid off and the smile goes away from his face because he says, what kind of present is this? She said, what do you mean? He says, the box is empty. Little girl says, daddy, it's not empty. He says, I know when the box is empty. I'm looking in the box, there's nothing in there. She says, no, Daddy, it's not empty. He says, well, what's in there? And she says, for days and days and days now, I have been filling this box with my kisses. Every day, I take a kiss and another one, and I keep putting all my kisses in. In fact, Daddy, this box is so full of kisses. You know why? Because I want you, for the rest of your life, every day, to take the lid off and take one of my kisses and put it on your cheek just so you know how much I love you. Isn't that a nice story? And the, the lady who wrote the story says that even when she grew up and her daddy was very old, he would go to see her and he would have the golden box on his, on his desk and he would say to her, every day I take the lid off and I take one of your kisses and I put it on my cheek. It's a beautiful story. But did you know that each one of you has a golden box? Did you know that? Not just you, but every person here has a golden box. Do any of you know that? You don't know that? Wow, let me tell you about your golden box. A long time ago, someone who loves you very much made the world and then he made one special day, and on that special day, he put all his kisses in that day. It's called the Sabbath. And once a week, in fact, every day he wants you to, to get his kisses, but once a week in a very special way, he wants you to open the golden box that he's given you, given to every person there is, and said, take out one of my kisses and put them on your cheek. Why? Because I love you. I love you so much. I want you for all of your life, especially on Sabbath, to know that I am your daddy and I love you so much. And I want you to remember that. Every time there's a Sabbath, when it begins, maybe you can say to your mom and dad, 
Mom and Dad, let's open the Sabbath box. Let's open the golden box and take one of God's kisses and put it on our cheek and remind ourselves every Sabbath that he just loves you to pieces. He loves you so much. Will you try and remember that? Will you? Okay. Okay, thank you for listening to the story. You go back nice and slowly. <laughs>